tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to generate creator and shader method using uh, Java Reflection API. Uh, when you here, I have created a uh, basically a uh, Java bin which is having three fields: a uh, name, which is type of a string, age, type of integer, and a flag, which is type of boolean. So when you right click on any Java bin class uh, within the ID, ID like Eclipse and uh, if you go to the source you have a source and you have a, a generate setters and getters right now you get the getters and setters for the selected fields so you have to select the fields for that you want to generate and set and getters and uh, uh, you get the setter uh, public setter getter methods right so have you ever wondered what goes uh, in the background to generate uh, the setter and getter methods yes it is the magic of reflection in java which gets the information about the fields of the class and their types and then generate the getter and setters using reflection accordingly uh, if you if you have to create such a class yourself uh, then using the reflection api you can create your own getters and setters generator class of course uh, these things we are going to learn just for the academic purpose as all the ids uh, anyway provide this facility to do, do that right uh, so here uh, we will create a, a class which will generate a setter and getter public setter getter method for this java bin properties yeah so let's say you have a class it's called person uh, with three fields of type uh, a string uh, integer or int and boolean and uh, we want to generate getter and setter for these fields and now here uh, basically I have a class already I have created that class which will uh, basically support us to generate a getters and setters so here using the reflection API uh, for the field you can get information about the fields of the given class like uh, field name and type once you have that information you can create a setter getter methods for the fields in this code setter and getter methods are just printed after creating them as it is just for the uh, just for the demo purpose right so we can use a reflection uh, in java so, and we are not going to uh, uh, generate a getter uh, and setter into some file system simply we will display in the uh, basically eclipse console so let's see what code i have written offline so here we have a java beans for that we want to generate public setter getter methods i have created a, a basically client class a getter shader generator test and here uh, first line uh, we are just loading a version java beans dy dynamically into the memory and that's what class dot for name now now we are trying to just get the all the fields of the java bean by calling or reflection api get declared fields this will returns us the array of field now here all fields just we are printing over here right on the console by calling two string method of arrays now i have created a string buffer now here uh, we have a fields array right and that's i'm iterating and uh, from every field i'm getting the field name and field data type right and simply those name and data type i'm printing over here and i have created one utility class uh, which is having two public static method uh, first is the create setter and second is the create getter so create setter is basically responsible to create the setter method for every field right and for every field we know the field name as well as field type if we know these two things then we can easily create the setter as well as getter methods right and similarly we have a create getter method there we are passing field name field type and this string buffer and a similar uh, parameter we are passing to the create setter as well a create getter both are having almost similar parameter right and finally everything we are putting into the string buffer and finally we are printing the string buffer content to the console so let's look have a look into this uh, basically utility 
methods which is created in the common utils. Now here uh, we are passing field name, field type and a string buffer, right? And here that's the way basically if you want to create a public setter method then public void would be the prefix and then we have to append set and after that uh, we are calling a get field name which is here so when you create a setter method right right so first letter should be after set keyword first letter should be capital and that's what we are making in the capital and after that uh, just we are extracting uh, remaining character uh, from the field name from index 1 to till the length of the uh, uh, length of the field right it's pretty straightforward if you try to learn this utility uh, try to understand this utility method this is self explanatory right now let's run this program and if you have a data type is called boolean right then uh, uh, for setter that's fine for for getter uh, you would have a name like is flag right and that's what if you, you look into the utility class for get then uh, here i have tried to made a name as the get uh, uh, get uh, sorry is flag something like this so this code anyway i'm going to basically post on the uh, my newly created blog kkjavatutorials.com and that link i will provide into the description so that you can uh, copy the source code from my website yeah so i hope you understood right if i run this application then you'll see getters and setters for uh, these fields is created on the console so here uh, if i look into the source code then in source code here you can see uh, we have called get declared fields and we are printing all the fields here so that's what this area of fields are getting printed here all fields are listed here you can see after that just we are printing all fields and corresponding getter and setter methods right uh, in this loop right and uh, finally uh, get field name and field type we are printing so field name and field type here that's getting printed and finally uh, getters and setters just we are just concatenating into the string buffer and uh, we are printing so here you can see set method for name field set name similarly getter for get name name field similarly setter and getter for age field and and we have a setters and getters for flag uh, field right so flag field set flag and for getter the this is a boolean type right so is flag name is given even if, if you want you can on uh, uh, name as a get flag as well uh, right uh, uh, just like a name and age but uh, if you have a, a field as a boolean then usually we uh, specify name as each flag right like something like that right so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial this code i'm going to put on the my uh, uh, blog kkjabatutorials.com and link i will provide in the description video description part yourself so i hope you uh, enjoyed learning this video if you really like this video then hit on the like button don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel channel guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial